Ready for adventure? Always up for a journey. Alert, never missing a beat. Alert, never missing a beat. I know. Good. Now, say sorry for making everyone worry about you by doing drugs and getting addicted to them, and say sorry for being such a damn idiot by listening to the delinquents. Everyone nodded, accepting your apology, Ayano. See? That wasn't so hard. Now, you promise you will never do drugs again. If I see you so much as hold on to another narcotic, I promise I'll beat the hell out of you. Ayano nodded, Ayano. All right then. And promise me you won't listen to the damn delinquents anymore. Because they're probably stupid morons who think smoking weed and skipping class is... Cool. Promise? Ayano. Good. Finally, now that you've learned to use that dumb head of yours, don't go and screw things up again. Stop listening to dumb delinquent dumbasses and stop trying to be a... Badass for me. Osana. Sure, no hard feelings. As long as you promise not to be a drug-addicted psycho again. You really scared me by doing drugs in front of everyone. You know? Osana, you'd better be. Ayano's been worried sick about you this whole time. When we saw you holding a gun in front of Genka's face, and doing drugs right in front of everyone, you scared all of us to death. Hey there! Ready to turn your day from meh to marvelous? Hello! Let's make every word a step- Hey there! Ready to turn your- Raibaru! Yeah, when I saw you holding a gun in front of Genka's face, I thought you were gonna kill her! Then we saw you holding a cigarette, and I thought you were gonna start doing even more drugs, and the idea of losing you scared me. Raiburu, you can please Ayano by being a good normal husband. Not by being a dumbass who's addicted to drugs or tries to be badass, by doing stupid things like waving a gun around or smoking in front of everyone. She doesn't want a 
badass husband. She wants a normal, caring, kind-hearted husband. Do you understand what I'm saying? Raibaru, good! Now that you understand, you better promise to be a good husband for Ayano. Stop being addicted to drugs. Stop being a badass. Stop listening to delinquents. Stop waving guns around. And don't do drugs in front of people. If you don't promise to do that, I swear I'll kick your ass into next week. Genka looked at you for a long while, before nodding Genka. Good. I'm glad to hear that you were willing to change your habits, but I still want you to come by the guidance counselor's office for at least one meeting per week, all right? I want to make sure you are serious about not doing drugs anymore. Genka, then it's settled. Thank you for being willing to change your habits and cooperate. I appreciate your willingness to at least talk and be open to help. For that, I want you to promise that even if you feel like things have gotten better, that you will still come by the office once a week all right? Genka. Good. I'm glad we could come to an agreement. You've scared everyone today, I hope you realize that. You were behaving so violently, and you threatened me with a gun and did drugs in front of them. It is a miracle you didn't permanently scar any of them. Genka, now you understand what a dumbass you've been acting, huh? It's good to see you. I've recognized that you've been acting stupid. Now promise you won't forget what a dumbass you were and let that dumbass behavior stay as the past. You are going to start acting like a normal husband from now on, aren't you? Genka, good. I'm glad to hear that. In that case, then promise me that you won't let this whole bad behavior thing happen again, all right? Don't let yourself start acting crazy again, and don't let yourself become addicted to drugs again. I want you to stay a normal husband to Ayano from now on. Promise that you won't do anything idiotic again, please? Genka. Good. Then promise me that you will come by the guidance counselor's office at least once a week to talk and let me make sure you're all right. Even if you feel like you've gotten better, promise that you will not forget about that or stop coming over, all right? Genka. Good. Then from now on I want you to be a normal good husband to Ayano. No more psychotic, irrational, drug-addicted behavior. No more doing drugs in front of everyone, and definitely no more waving weapons around in people's faces. 
Are you sure you really get that? I don't want you to misunderstand anything. Genka. Good. Because you've already made so many people terrified and have scared Ayano to death with your actions, so I don't want you to forget any of that. Just be careful, all right? If you ever feel like you are slipping into bad habits again, come see me in the guidance counselor's office. Don't hesitate to ask for help if you need it. Did I scare you? Love a good thrill. Boo! Did I scare Musume, fine. Since it looks like you're sorry, I'll accept your apology. This time. But don't go acting like some badass to me again, capiche? Musume, good. I'd better not see you doing any more of this bullshit again. Musume, yes, it was very disgusting. Everyone was scared shitless by you waving a gun in front of the guidance counselor's face and by you doing drugs in front of everyone. Musume, yeah, they probably would. You'd better not do it again because I promise they won't like it. They'll kick your ass. Musume, yeah, her included. That girl has some serious anger issues. If you do something to piss her off as badly as you just did, she will absolutely kick your ass. Let's make every interaction a journey worth remembering. Ready for adventure? Always up for a journey. Guess who? Keeping you guessing with every word? Guess who? Kokoro. Heh. <laughs> Good. 
I'm glad you're scared. Because if you ever pull some bullshit like you just did again, I'll do a lot worse than just scare you. Kokoro? Good, then promise you won't pull any of the kind of bullshit you just pulled again, because otherwise, I'll actually kill you. No joke. Kokoro. Good. You better keep your promise, because if you don't, I promise you I will hunt you down and tear your guts out. Good day here to make life a little less comp. Hana, you scared everyone today, and you were being really idiotic. You were doing drugs, waving guns around, and acting like a badass. Stop doing that. All you're doing is showing everyone how bad acting like a badass actually looks. Lights, camera, action. Bringing Hollywood glam to your commands. Ready to sparkle? Lights, camera, action. Bringing... Kashiko. Fine, I accept your apology. But only because you look like you've actually learned your lesson. It's really hard to tell with you, though. Welcome, Innovator. Let's turn ideas into reality. Good day. Shall we embark on a journey of knowledge and wisdom? Hasiko, it's good that you recognize that what you did was idiotic. You were acting like a sadistic jerk, like you said, and acting like a complete dumbass.